the school uniform parts with its owner painfully. The student was among passengers commuting from Limbe to school before death stared in the face. I was coming up when our dad was trying to touch a car and yeah, I jumped out of the bus. I was still to jump out of the bus then the car not climb on top of our own. The truck climb? Yes, yeah, the truck climb on top of our car. Here at the mortuary, everyone is bothered. The accident at Moliwe, Limbe Mutengene Highway, is the third in a single day. The most uh, striking one is that of that happened in Moliwe. Uh, one truck and one he has 19 seater bus, which uh, is a trans uh, is a public transport, which uh, carried students and also carried uh, a woman and and two children that were, were going to the farm. And one teacher and one other ordinary citizen. According to the SDO of FACO, Mr. Chaibu, 26 persons were involved in the accident. Eight were rushed to the Mutengana Baptist Hospital where one died and the others were taken to Limbe. We have a total of uh, 13 injured patients and uh, four deaths. 13 injured patients and four deaths. Good. They, those who arrived in the hospital and then they died here. But we also learned that uh, I think the driver of the bus died on the spot, but the corpse was not brought here because he is a Muslim and his corpse was picked up by the Muslim community for burial. Okay. Education stakeholders visit the school to console the students of GTHS Ombe. The second term ends on a sad note here at the Government Technical High School, Ombe, the oldest technical college in the English-speaking part of the country. Three of the dead cases are students here. Seventeen of the injured are also students here. Now, for the three that were headed here to pick up the uh, end-of-term report cards when their destinations changed. Michael Ayamba, Larry Evande, CRTV News.